Hey YouTube, my name is Caitlin and I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial for you guys. This is actually my first one, so it's probably going to be a little rough, but I'm going to show you how to do like a red lip everyday kind of look. It's something that I wear all the time because I love wearing red lipstick and I think it's great to wear just for like every day going out, whatever you want. Alright, so I am going to start off using this really old cracked CoverGirl pressed powder. It's just your everyday like pressed powder. And I'm using a uh, tissue to put it on because my makeup brushes are dirty and God clean them. But it's such a struggle to clean them, you know? Hmm. So I'm just applying this to my T-zone and just basically all over my face so I have a matte look for at least most of the day. Alright. Now after you're all mattified and powdered, I am going to be using this really gross looking Maybelline New York Concealer. Now I use concealer is my eyeshadow primer. I actually find that it works a lot better and it gives you better coverage too so you don't see all those like really like, vein things you know in your eyes because that like, doesn't look good. So I'm going to be using this. I have a mirror here which is why I'm like looking All done. Doesn't really make like a huge difference, but it really helps with your eyeshadow, trust me. So going on to eyeshadow, I'm going to be using these brushes. They're all by e.l.f. except the little spoolie here. And the other ones though, e.l.f. they have really cheap brushes. They're only like a dollar or two for one. And I personally think they work great. So I use those and I'm gonna be using my Naked Basics palette for part of my eyeshadow. This thing, I hit me in on a lot of them. So I need to get a new one. But I'm gonna be using this shade right here. It's called Walk of Shame. It's just like a nude um, color. It's a great one to have for just like a basic eyeshadow to wear every day. So I'm just gonna be putting this all over my eyelid. color on. I'm going to be using this L'Oreal palette here. It's their dupe of the Naked palette and I've actually found that it works pretty great. The colors are really pretty. A lot of them just like a great mixture of matte and shimmery colors so it's great to have for like everyday looks. You can do like an everyday look. You can do like a night look. It's really great. And it comes with this little brush It comes with this little brush here that works surprisingly well. So I'm going to be going in this color right here. Focus it. I don't really know the name of them. I'm sure you can find it online what the names are, but I'm gonna be putting this on my outer corner here and up into my crease. Well actually, I'm gonna use this brush here, my crease brush. So just putting this a little bit my outer corner, it's like hard to see. 
in the woods for doing eyeshadow. See, just putting this up in the corner. I think I can like blend it out all the way in the lens, which is why I got a mirror, but yeah, I'm doing that. Then you repeat on the other side. Yeah. That was only like 15, 12, 15 dollars, something like that. So it's a pretty good deal if like obviously the naked palette is expensive. So if you don't want to spend that much, definitely pick this up. I got it at Target. And then after that, I so I'm just gonna go think for oh yeah, for my eyeshadow, I'm gonna do, I gotta do the highlight. So on my brow bone, I'm using this brush here. This is another e.l.f. brush I got. Just like a basic like eyeshadow brush. I'm going to go back to my Naked Basic palette here. And I'm taking the color Venus. The very sad looking used up Venus in the end. I'm going to be doing my brow bone. So right under my eyebrow. This will help brighten up your eyes. And it also is great for blending out the crease because nobody likes when eyeshadow in the crease isn't blended out it's like one of my pet peeves don't like it so yeah I'm putting that on my brow bone and I like adding a little bit in my inner corners here too it's really great for brightening up the eye Now, eyeshadow is done. It's pretty basic. I mean, it is light because it is the focus is going to be on the red lip that we're doing. But just to brighten up your eyes a little bit, it's really great for that. For doing my brows, I switch it up between using Faint right here from the Naked Basic palette. I just use that to fill in my brows. But lately, what I've been doing is just using a basic brown eyeliner pencil. It's actually a brow and eye fine pencil. Yeah. And this is just from CoverGirl. Got this like a really long time ago. Back in like high school. So I don't know, like three, four years ago. I'm not sure if they make this exact one still, but I'm sure they have something pretty similar, if not the exact same in like new packaging. So I'm just going to take this is the color Midnight Brown. So I'm just gonna fill in my eyebrows after I use my little spoolie. It's important to brush through your eyebrows first because you want all the like little hairs going in the same direction. You don't want to be like filling in with your eyebrows going every which way. And then so next I'm just gonna fill in my brows. I really need to get a brow gel. I tried um at Sephora, the Benefit, their new brow gel they have, and it's really good. Just didn't want to spend like $25 on it now. But I was thinking of looking at the drugstore. So if you guys know any good drugstore brow gels that you'd recommend, leave them in the comments and I'll definitely check those out. Right, now I don't have like, obviously I don't have light eyebrows to begin with. So I don't need to fill mine in a whole lot. So just so it's not crazy dramatic, I like to use this again after. And just like brush through my eyebrows just to blend it out a little and soften up the hair. Right. Now for my eyelashes, I kind of, I have like, longer-ish eyelashes naturally to begin with but I like obviously darkening them, darkening them up and making them stand out so this makeup forever I get a little mini mascara I actually got for my sister for Christmas I like this, this is a good like, beam eyelashes 
Like you put it on, it's like, wow, crazy eyelashes. So, we are gonna go in with this. Since we're not gonna do eyeliner today, I like having big eyelashes. So I'm going to go in and just do, I don't know, one or two coats of this. Whenever I feel like they look good enough, I guess. to do the bottom lashes too. Obviously you don't want to do them as dramatic, but you don't want to forget those. So yeah, see the difference? Like, wow. And I promise it looks better in person than on camera. Mm. But yeah. I'm gonna go in and do the same thing to my left eye. Surprisingly for being, I've had this mascara for like a year and a half. And for being such like a little baby mascara, it lasted me a long time. I mean, I don't use it every single day, but for the amount of times I have used it, it lasted me a while. Alright, so now, eyelashes complete. And now, red lipstick time. This is, I believe it's from Maybelline says it's new but it's not it's in the shade on fire red in 895 um, I got this a while ago from for dance actually and I've just used it since so I don't line my lips which is probably bad I just don't um, I have a red lip liner that's like barely anything left so I did line my lips at one point in my not anymore. I just don't want to buy a new lip liner. So, we're just going to apply this all over your lips. And I can't really talk. I know like right now, we got red lipstick. Right now, actually, you know like the whole like liquid lipstick matte thing is in, which I totally love, but sometimes it's nice just to go back to like a classic red lipstick and wear that for a day. So here is the finished look. And I know I didn't do much to my face. I don't usually wear foundation actually, which I know sounds really strange. But I just have like really sensitive skin. So I don't want to deal with like, breaking out from my foundation, and then you know, that's not good. So I usually just keep it simple with like powder, and I'll use like I just got the Anastasia, I think that's how you say it, um, the like powder contour kit, which I really like. But I have to wash my makeup brushes, like I said before, with my powder, because like I hate using dirty makeup brushes. So that's why I didn't use that today. But other than that, this is like a pretty everyday look that I'd wear like to class even night out it's really like versatile so yeah if you guys like it then let me know in the comments below and yeah let me know if you try it out thanks for watching